Minister Narendra Modi has spent this evening addressing the RSS BJP coordination meeting. He attended the meeting, calling himself a proud Swayam Sevak. He assured the RSS and its affiliates that some tough decisions taken by his government would yield results. The RSS has given the Modi government's performance a thumbs up, but it has also outrightly rejected the Congress's claim that it is remote controlling the Prime Minister and his men. Rajesh Pandey has our top story tonight. We are not an illegal organization. We have every right to ask a minister also if necessary. Where, where does the, come, the question of secrecy come here? Senior RSS leader Dattatreya Hosabole's open admission. The Sangh leader says RSS has every right to question the ministers. Taking a dig at Congress, the RSS said that those who are remote controlled have no right to question them. जिन्होंने रिमोट कंट्रोल के इतने चलाए हैं, उनको कहने के नैतिक अधिकार भी नहीं हैं। The third and final day of the RSS BJP meet saw Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, and other big wigs of the BJP at the meeting. Later in the evening, Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the conclave and apprised the RSS about the functioning of the government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke. His message to his political opponents was very clear. He is a swam sevak and his government has reached where it has because of guidance from the RSS. Meanwhile, the Congress once again took pot shots at the BJP and alleged that the RSS was doing the appraisal of the government. The hypocrisy of RSS and BJP stands fully exposed. The BJP RSS meetings are not new, but this time the meeting came under severe criticism because the BJP is heading the government. With the Prime Minister himself praising the RSS, there is little doubt on the Sangh's imprint on the functioning of the government. With Brijesh Pandey in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Okay, let's go straight across to our face off right at the top. Is the Prime Minister accountable to the RSS? Is the RSS really the big boss? Joining me now, Sambit Patra, National Spokesperson BJP and Sanjay Jha, Spokesperson of the Congress. Sambit Patra, Prime Minister Narendra Modi goes to the RSS meet, apparently speaks to them for a couple of hours. Are we to understand, as I said, that the RSS is the big boss, that Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the country, is accountable to the RSS as an extra-constitutional body? As far as accountability is concerned, the Prime Minister and every minister of any government is accountable to everyone in this country, including organizations like RSS, which are social cultural organizations. Secondly, as far as whether this meeting was on appraisal of the government or not, mm -hmm. it fact clearly indicated by the spokesperson of the RSS today that no, it was not about appraisal, it was only about coordination and this is a routine procedure. You would remember then when Mr. Atal Vihari Bajpai was the Prime Minister, even then we had coordination meeting and it is a rule since the day Bharti Janta Party has been formed mm -hmm. that we have this coordination meeting twice in a year with but the mother organization that is RSS Mr. and pa everyone knows it's a mother ideological organization of Bharti Janta Party. But, but Mr. Patra, Mr. Patra, you're saying mother ideological organization, you're saying socio-cultural organization. A socio-cultural organization needs a briefing from the Prime Minister on what the government is doing and by all his senior uh, co cabinet colleagues. Doesn't that transparently make it a political organization? Why not end this hypocrisy once and for all and there will be no controversy? Let the RSS say, yes, we are a political organization and the BJP is part of our, uh, of our wider Sangh Parivar. Controversy over. Why call yourself a social-cultural organization and then take a report card from the ministers? First and foremost, I mean, there's no denying to the fact that RSS is one of the world's largest socio-cultural organization and definitely the largest in this country. Mm -hmm. Wherever you have a flood, you have RSS. Wherever there is earthquake, you have RSS. Wherever there is a mishap, you have RSS. Okay, I'm going to go to Sambit Patra in, in, in a moment because the line is not very clear to Sambit Patra. But Sanjay Jha, respond to what you've heard so far from Sambit Patra. Sambit Patra making it clear that the RSS is part of the wider Parivar. The BJP has never denied that it is the ideological force behind the BJP. So what's wrong if the Prime Minister goes there? When, when the Congress was in power, you had your National Advisory Council.
how different is the NAC from the RSS? Oh, come, on, come on, Rajiv. I think that we are talking about uh, apples and apricots here. You know, I think, I think obviously, Sambit Patra will try to be disingenuous and distort your question. But the fact is that this is a public admission by Mr. Modi and his government that end of day they are a puppet under the hands of Nagpur, which has a remote control to the entire government. And I think it's a disturbing and an extremely dangerous development, Rajdeep. You, are, you are a very seasoned journalist. You will agree with me here. That end of day, RSS is a very fascist, right-wing, a Hindu Rashtra-driven uh, organization, NGO, whatever they might want to call themselves. Mohan Bhagwat last year, when, mm -hmm. he was, when he was on Dur Darshan using the state broadcast machinery to speak to the people of India, and Narendra Modi as the Prime Minister tweeted and rationalized everything that Mohan Bhagwat said, I think the process of the RSS officially taking over the Modi Sarkar was given a license almost a year no, and No, but you called... No, 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 Mr. Forget, Pat, I I mean, Mr. Jha, Mr. Jha, you say that one level you say Narendra Modi is a dictator. At another level today you are saying that Narendra Modi takes instructions from RSS. How can he be both? How can he be dictator and someone who takes instructions from Mohan Bhagwat? Let's be clear. Do you believe that Narendra Modi is the supreme leader or is Mohan Bhagwat the supreme leader, Mr. Jha? Mr. Modi is a supreme dictator within his party which runs the government, which is why no minister has any freedom at all. As far as the larger, I think the, the real imperial body is really the RSS. I mean, I was amused and astonished as to how the RSS spokespeople are actually advising them on one rank, one Rajdeep. pension, on foreign the policy. NAC was on how you you on, the NAC was advising you on... The NAC was advising you on food security and other issues. Now, the NAC no, was advising yeah, you on food but, security but, but and other NAC, issues. Let's no, be clear. No, Let me bring in Mr. Patra no, though to no, respond. No, no, let Mr. Patra respond, no, no, Mr. No, no, Jha, to some of the things that you said question. about the RSS. Let him respond. Yes, My Mr. God. Patra. Okay. Raj. Rajdi, first and foremost, though I would not like to be drawn into a quarrel with, with Sanjay Jha on the contradictions of Congress, mm -hmm. but over here I have a very pertinent point to make which I often repeat. Mm -hmm. See, we have to distinguish between a remote control and a compass. A remote control has a button of controlling, a remote control can give orders. And remember, this country had only one remote control which Cut lies with ten The second instrument <laughs> is a compass and a compass only gives you a, no, a moral direction. Give a mature and response. thankful that we Stop have an ideological... No, 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 please. Please, <laughs> why, why, why is Sanjay Jai crying in the middle of the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, please why don't Sanjay interrupt Jai each other. Like kiddo? Please, Sanjay, don't do this. Yes. Yes. Now, all I mean to say is we are thankful that we have an ideological uh -huh. compass like RSS, which does not give directions, but definitely we draw ideological inspiration from a body which, remember, is not a family in the, in the genetic sense. It's a family in a thoughtful sense, which is quite alien to the Congress we imagine even. No, no, but who is the supreme leader? If you say Sonia Gandhi was the supreme leader whom Manmohan Singh took instructions to from, Sambit Patra, am I right? Just a minute, Sanjay. Please. Am I right in saying that Mohan Bhagwat is the supreme leader and therefore Narendra Modi has to, in a sense, give a performance appraisal no, to the Sasan Where does this question come? No, where, 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 where does this question come, Rajdi? Where does this question come? When the ministers of this uh, cabinet, mm. including the Prime Minister, are invited to your conclaves to, to, to in fact, deliberate upon various issues mm -hmm. and they speak there, you question them, you that, uh, get the answer. That's in front of the media. Is it that you become the this supreme is behind leader of the country? Doors. No. This is behind closed doors. Therefore, there this is an is element of, of civil, secrecy. No, this is part. This is this is part of civil society. This is part of civil society. Absolutely. Definitely, it is one of the biggest socio-cultural organizations. <laughs> if we coordinate, if we discuss, what is the problem? Is the socio-cultural organization going to decide and on defense stra and strategic issues? Which socio-cultural organization decides on what our foreign policy to Pakistan should be? What should be issues of national security? Sambit Patra, should a socio-cultural organization get into these areas? How long are you going to retain this fiction of social-cultural? No, no, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. Rajdi, since the NSA level talks with Pakistan were to happen, mm -hmm. every media house in the country rightly advised, discussed, 
dissected and uh, talked about the relations with Pakistan, how it should have been and how it is. Mm -hmm. So today if a civil society, if an organization is discussing about it, how should that be seen with different light and why should that be seen with a different seclusion? That's my question and remember, yes. there is a difference between tweaking and discussion. Tweaking was what was done by Ashwini Kumar under the very nose of Supreme Court. That's how policies are tweaked. Tweaking is how Pulak Chatterjee used to run with files to Sonia ji every evening. Even, e even if the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was in the office, every evening Pulak Chatterjee had to go on with the, uh, uh, with the files to the office of Sonia ji. <laughs> this does not happen over here. Okay, Mr. Patra, take a pause. Mr. Patra, take a pause. Okay, can I come in, Rajdeep? Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you, and I'm quoting here M.J. Akbar, a senior BJP leader on written on record. Mm -hmm. RSS is a dangerous clandestine force that is determined to provoke violence in India. M.J. Akbar, I'm quoting him verbatim. Today, Prime Minister Modi is taking instructions from the same RSS. I think if the people of India ought not to be concerned now, then the question is when. And I think the biggest story the people of India here, voted, the when the people really, voted for Narendra uh, Modi, the they knew that RSS was part of the Sun The people of India voted Third, no, for the no, BJP, minute, they knew the RSS was part of the Sun Parivar. No, no, Rajdeep. I, I, think, I think you should do a poll on that to know whether the 31% people who voted for Narendra Modi <laughs> You had mother of all polls in 2014, you still want a poll, Sanjay Which was nothing but a camouflage and subterfuge for the RSS Sanjay Jha, you had a poll in 2014, and, and I, I need to one you, by Mr. one Patra, please What happened that to Rahul Gandhi and the Congress party, party was when quite clear One by one was assassinated that Sardar Patel banned the RSS because you created a vitiated environment that led to the assassination Ooh, of the Mahatma. Did you, did you, you go to have some the Kapoor Committee's report? Here did you go to the Kapoor Commission's spin. report? What are you talking about? Well, my dear, friend, one by one, my dear friend, if you want well, you to get nothing. into that debate, nothing, I will prove to you to that offer. Gopal Godse said no, I don't that Nagpur Godse continued to remain with the RSS and he was not with the Hindu Mahasabha. I want to debate with me right now. We can go into the past. Let's talk about the present. I want to know, Sambit Patra, am I to understand, and I want a final word from you, am I to understand that the RSS is simply trying to understand what is going on in government without A, giving advice or instructions? Are you really serious that you expect uh, people to believe that? We know what happened, remember, in the past when cabinet ministers were also decided by the Sarasang Chalak when Mr. Vajpayee was in power. Jaswan Singh was denied the finance ministry at the time. I want to know, what is the precise role of the RSS the in Rajdeep. the context of Mr. Modi that he has to go all the way to the RSS and tell them exactly what all he and all exactly. his cabinet ministers have to give a report card to them. What is the need for it? Remember, both the great prime ministers of India, Mr. Atal Vihari Bajpayee as well as Sri Narendra Modi, both are swayang sevaks, they were pracharaks for quite a considerable period of time. Mm -hmm. So trying to see them in segregation with the RSS is a futile exercise, they should not be. As far as instructions and advice are concerned, let us dissect these two words. Advice is a yes, yes. Advice from anyone and everyone is welcome as far as a democratic government's functioning is concerned. Mm -hmm. But instruction and tweaking is an absolute no, which we do not allow and which the RSS this never does as well. Okay. On a larger platform, if you see, this is what the definition of a family should be, in contrary to what the definition of family in Congress is. In Congress, the definition of family is a kitchen cabinet. No, no. In our Listen, BJP, your, your the Prime definition Minister of family stands is a thought, today is a thought process. Communal character. I'm going to leave Mr. it there. Mr. Modi cannot live down the Gujarat riots. Go and find out how Silicon Valley is protesting against his coming to California. Don't coming go to, to Gujarat California. every second day. No, 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 are professors from Harvard and Waters and it's a you serious issue. No, no, Sanjay, you cannot Sanjay dodge Patra, it. Mr. Modi Gujarat may have been an RSS has, pracharak, but his communal track record okay, that's is it. absolutely shameful. We're, we're switching shameful. off the mics. I appreciate both of you joining us. You, you both had a say. On this program, no crosstalk. We've had, both of you have had a say. Thank you very much for joining us on a day when the Prime Minister has stirred a bit of a controversy by going all the way to the RSS headquarters to give them, in a sense, a report card of his government's performance.